second. Hi guys, welcome back to 21st part of the Arduino tutorial. So today's video will be on the HC05 Bluetooth module. Uh, there will be around six videos coming after this, which will be completely on this Bluetooth topic. Before starting this video, make sure you have a look on our other tutorials in which we have explained the line to line coding. The prerequisite for this video is to understand the LED blink program. So that I think it's the first part in our tutorial playlist. You can check out that link in the description box. So moving further, in this particular video, I'll be showing you how you can receive the data coming from the smartphone or Bluetooth and to control the LED using the data. So basically using an Arduino as a receiver. So in my coming videos, I'll be showing you how you can also transmit the data from Arduino to your smartphone. So for this tutorial, you need an Arduino board, HC05 Bluetooth module, an LED bulb, some jumper wires, and also a smartphone. The connection is quite simple. To power the Bluetooth module, connect 5 volt to the VCC of the Arduino board and ground will grow to ground. RX pin of HC05 will go to TX of the Arduino, that is pin 1, and TX of HC05 will go to RX of Arduino, it's pin 0. This is to get a trans receiver combination. For example, if a smartphone is transferring some data over the Bluetooth, the HC05 will capture that data and it starts sending it through its TX pin. At the same time, the Arduino has to collect that data through its RX pin. Similarly, the same logic applies for TX pin as well. So moving further, the LED positive will go to pin 13 and ground to ground. Now we'll move on to the coding part. First we'll declare the LED which is connected to pin 13. And in the setup, we'll make it as an output device using pin mode. So connect it to 13. We have to declare one more variable to store the data that is coming over the Bluetooth. So we'll declare here in the declaration section. Through the smartphone, if you are sending any character, so internally that will come as an ASCII value of that character, so which is a number. So I am taking it as int. I'll declare it as data. So now to start the serial communication, we have to set the baud rate which defines the number of bits transferred in second so that will go inside setup the keyword is serial dot begin and here the default baud rate is 9600 that means 9600 bits are transferred in a second so this varies from device to device so that's it in the setup Coming to the loop section, we have to continuously check whether some data is present in the serial buffer. To check that, we have to go with serial.available function. To check it continuously, I am using with while loop and the keyword is serial.available. You call this function. Just check whether it is greater than or zero. Zero means null and if it is greater than zero, that means there is some data present in the serial buffer. So if the data is present, just store it to the variable which we have already declared data equal to 
to read that serial buffer just use serial dot read so the data stored in a buffer will be read and it will be stored in this variable so further we can use this variable to our logic part so first I'll show you how you can print this on your serial monitor later we'll control the LED using this so to print we have to use serial dot print inside this the same variable so it will keep printing on the same line if you want it to print in a new line every time just use print line print ln the coding part is done let's move on to the smartphone and install an application go to play store and search for bluetooth serial controller so you get this just install it I have already installed it in my phone it will ask for the bluetooth permission just allow it you have to do some configuration here go to preference button and name so here you can modify the name of the button so first name so this is the first button I am giving it as L1 so similarly you can name the other buttons as well according to a requirement next go to command this let it be the default conditions here here again go to button 1 and here we have to give the value which need to be transferred when the button is pressed so I am giving it as capital A so when I press this button the capital letter A is transferred over the Bluetooth similarly we will do it for the second button as well button 2 I am naming it as L2 and the data to be capital B there are a lot of other options which you can explore for this tutorial we just need two buttons we are done with that so we have to use these same characters in the code as well now we'll upload the code and see the working one thing you have to note here is while uploading the code you have to remove the rx pin in the Arduino. otherwise you get a port busy message and you can't upload the code once you remove just upload it and connect back after uploading once you upload the code before jumping into the app we have to pair the bluetooth module with our phone for that first turn on bluetooth and go to settings pair new device uh, here so once you get the hc05 click on it and the password will be 1234 now the device is paired and we can go to the application in the smartphone click on connect and select your HC05 you get a connected message here now open the serial monitor so if I press this button I am getting 65 since 
the ASCII value of capital A is 65 and for this button I have to guess 66 yeah this for B yeah it's working fine so we'll add the further logic to control the LED so just we have to use if statements if data equal to character A since it's a character we have to use the single quotes switch on LED using a digital write and similarly if the character is B switch off the LED so I'll copy this It will be here and this will be low yeah it's quite simple so now we'll upload the code and we can see the result through the LED so I'm removing the RX pin connect back Currently LED is off. So if I press this button, it's turning on. And similarly for other button, it's going off. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it will be useful. If you have any doubts, just post it in a comment section below. In my further videos will be doing more and more projects on this bluetooth stay tuned for more tutorials and also subscribe for interesting videos thank you for watching and i'll see you again in the next tutorial